Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Turn to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Lord we have sin against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading of the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another, as God has forgiven you in Christ. Be imitators of God as beloved children, and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. Immorality or any impurity or greed must not even be mentioned among you as it is as is fitting among holy ones. No obscenity or silly or suggestive talk which is out of place, but instead thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no immoral or impure or greedy person that is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty arguments, for because of these things the wrath of God is coming upon the disobedient. So do not be associated with them, for you were once dark in darkness, but now you are light in the world, in the Lord. Live as children of light. The word of the Lord. Thank you. A responsorial song. Behave like God as his very dear children. Behave like God as his very dear children. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the ways of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Behave like God as his very dear children. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Behave like God as his very dear children. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Behave like God as his very dear children. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was teaching in the synagogue on the Sabbath. And a woman was there who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over completely incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free of your infirmity. He laid his hands on her. At once she stood up straight and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant that Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, said to the woman in reply, There are six days when work should be done. Come on those days to be cured, not on the Sabbath. The Lord said to him in reply, Hypocrites, does not each one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his ass from the manger and lead it out for watering? This daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years now, ought she not have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage? Then he said this, 
all his adversaries were humiliated. And the whole crowd rejoiced at all that the splendid deeds done by him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> <coughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Last week, and as we heard this morning, we are listening to St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. And Paul today speaks about something that was pertinent in his day and equally as pertinent in ours. And that is immorality, impurity. <coughs> Paul goes so far as saying that no one who holds these up as their own idols, you know, that they're so focused on immorality or impurity, they're wanting to promote it, they're wanting to encourage it, indoctrinate people with it. None of these individuals have an inheritance with Jesus Christ or the kingdom of God. St. Paul's basically saying to them, to us, that if this is the mindset, if this is the culture, that's not a culture that leads one to heaven. In fact, it leads one down the superhighway of perdition. But he begins today with a statement. Be kind to one another compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. That is truly our marching orders, not to, because uh, there's a false compassion to look at the people who do these things and say, well, well, as long as it's not imposed upon me, oh, well, let bygones be bygones, you know, you do you live and let live, you know, things like that. We've all heard little statements like that. No, the truly compassionate person, the truly loving Christian is the one who can stand in opposition to all of that and say, no, I will not adhere to any of this. It's immoral, it's deviant, it, it's terrible. I will not support it in any way. Coupled with that, truly compassionate, the truly loving person says, although I'm not going to support any of that, I will not, I will pray for your conversion. I will pray for you and mean it sincerely. I will pray that God will convert them so that they don't go for all eternity down to perdition. Uh, and we, we can, it's easily to point out uh, people who are so blatant in this society with certain things. But it's the ones that we don't see. The ones who are not publicly blatant. Those people need our prayers as well. It's the ones who are trapped into this multi-mega million dollar industry. And that's a big industry of money. Uh, young men, young women in these industries. We need to pray for them and their conversion. That God will touch their heart as well. We pray for those who support this. We pray for them and their conversion. The truly loving, compassionate person is the person who is willing to turn away from all of that and to pray for all those involved in that industries. And that's what St. Paul is trying to get us to do today. Heaven is so very important, so very valuable. We need to pray that every person has a change of heart and desires heaven above all things. And in doing that, then, then, and only then, will they take care of their brother and sister. For when heaven is my goal, then I'm going to love God with my whole heart so I can get there. And I'm finally, finally, finally going to love my neighbor 
the way God wants me to love my neighbor. Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who will watch this Mass on video and the needs of you here present in our chapel this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that the infinite prob will continue to watch over the finances of our parishes. May we always have enough for what we need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Bread of the earth and work with human hands will become for us the bread of life. Praise God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifices your hands. For the praise and glory of the saints, for the good and glory of all the saints, Lift, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service, we may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, o Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and we us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant these in our days, and that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the Lord, kingdom, power, and glory, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. 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 The Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. The Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Our Lord, our Lord, our Lord, he can give us our Lord. But I will say the word, and my soul shall be We will bring out our joy at your saving help and exalt in the name of our God. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy, Holy Lord, 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 the Archangel, defend us in heaven. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God forgive him we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through this world, seeking to ruin our souls. Amen. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God and Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy night of conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, the most great spouse. Blessed be God and His angels and His saints.